Hi, I'm Alex Pollock, Chief Investment Officer of Loftus Peak. Welcome to Update Plus, a short tour around the grounds of investment in the big disruptive trends that are driving business and our portfolios. The collapse of SVB triggered a panic around the world in banks globally, first with the US regionals and then the Europeans, including Deutsche Bank, as well as the shotgun marriage of Credit Suisse and UBS along the way. Investors have been inclined to treat the big banks as blue chip businesses, and they are very broadly. But of course, they're not without their own issues. But at the same time, the cash piles of super cap tech, as it was termed last week by a Goldman Sachs trader in relation to Apple, Google and Microsoft, can be the size of medium banks' entire deposit base alone. Case in point, Apple has $175 billion of US cash at bank at present. That is the same as the deposit base of SVP, SVB. Google and Microsoft are not far behind at $113 billion and $100 billion US dollars respectively. This doesn't mean that these businesses don't have earnings issues. But what it does mean is that they're not going to go broke anytime soon, as did SVP, SVP and others. Events such as these crystallise the way in which investors treat risk, which ultimately translates into the way stock prices move. Microsoft, which has its name all over artificial intelligence, was up 12.9% in March. Google, 108 and Apple, up 92 Even Amazon was up 88 This at the time that the banks were having uh, so many difficulties. But the two stocks that were up the most in March were NVIDIA at 16% and its cousin, AMD, at 20%. Both very important players in the hardware for artificial intelligence. Loftus Peak invests in all these companies. Setting aside the rally in AI this year, we've done very well out of what Goldman Sachs calls super cap tech over the years. For example, following Amazon very closely since 2014 because of its cloud business, which allowed companies to variableize and compute in their compute and storage costs by renting Amazon space instead of having to invest in their own. The logic of this was and is compelling. Before the AWS cloud compute model, companies were forced to provision their technological needs for the heaviest day of the year, say Christmas, if it, if it was a retailer, with a large part of that infrastructure and the techni technicians to run it underutilized for the rest of the year. The investment uplift in Amazon has been close to 10 times. These super cap companies are still very important. Essentially, they are platforms on which can be grafted new businesses. For example, Apple has added screen entertainment, health through the watch, Apple Pay, and now a buy now, pay later service. When you have 1.5 billion iPhone users worldwide, you can do that. Microsoft is using its heft as a platform player with its 1.5 billion Windows users globally as the platform to distribute artificial intelligence tools, creating a large business almost overnight. One last point. Not everyone is excited about AI. Is excited about AI. There, have been a, there has been a regulatory backlash from the Italian Data Protection Authority, which last week banned ChatGPT due to concerns over the illegal collection of personal data and the lack of guardrails to prevent miners from using its chatbot. This follows somewhat predictable bans in China, Iran, North Korea and Russia, where information is, of course, carefully controlled. There's quite a bit more ground to cover before we know exactly how this will play out. This has been Update Plus. I'm Alex Pollock. Thanks for your time.